Miss Universe and several other pageants are now owned by one person? Now this person claims to be a woman and is excited that a woman now owns for the first time ever the Miss Universe pageant. I'll let you take a look at this aftermarket woman and you be the judge. She just recently became a Miss Universe organization. From now on it's going to be ran by women. Owned by a trans woman. For all women. For all women really around the world to celebrate the power of feminism. Oh, I was just looking at that. First of all, you look at the mannerisms. And when someone is a counterfeit, you can see it. All women. Now, first of all, I don't think she's even from Asia. She sounds like someone from a gas station, Indian 7-Eleven. And we will do this for all women. We are here. And finally, all women own this. The, just the nodding and the... It's just someone pretending to be something and really acting it out. And it looks more and more fake the more they try. You be the judge on that. I don't know why women aren't speaking up. You know, if I identified as black and put on a little stick on afro and painted my face brown and was like, it's about time a black dude is finally here. The black community would take probably 30 seconds to ruin my life, call me a racist, string me up, tell me that was blackface, call every show I do, tell them to cancel me, make sure I never appear on TV again. But you women are dropping the ball because here you have a guy who's a woman and now I own the Miss Universe. That is what I do. And you're just sitting back going, I don't act black. Do what they do and say, that's a woman face. I don't want you wearing my dress, my earrings, my hairdo, and pretending you're me because you put some tit in. That's up to you, ladies. I guess you have to decide if your lives matter. Speaking of fake boxes, I thought this was very interesting. I want you to see these boxes and watch what they're doing and realize they're actually not even moving at all. 